A strange new ring has appeared around 3i Atlas, and scientists are confused because the shape is too clean for a normal comet. Dust should spread everywhere, but this dust did not spread at all. It moved slowly into one perfect circle, like space around Atlas had been shaken into a pattern. And the more scientists watched, the more they realized the ring was not the main mystery. The motion that created the ring was the real mystery, not the ring itself. Atlas has a small internal pulse that flashes every 11 seconds. We have seen this pulse for weeks. It is not bright, it is not loud, but it is steady like a slow heartbeat. And today, for the first time, we can see the pulse not only inside the object, but also outside it. The dust ring formed at the exact place where the pulse started affecting space around the object. The dust didn't stop because something blocked it. It stopped because the pulse made a quiet zone around Atlas, a space where dust keeps getting pushed into the same path again and again. This is something we call resonance in physics. When something shakes or pulses in a steady rhythm, the space around it begins to move in small waves. These waves push anything nearby into predictable lines. We see this with sound. We see it with water. And sometimes we see it in plasma in laboratories. Seeing it around an interstellar object, that is what makes this special. The dust around Atlas behaved exactly like dust trapped inside a resonance zone. It traveled outward a little, slowed down, then curved into a tight circle. Not messy, not random, a clean orbit. Almost like the dust was following a soft path drawn by the pulse. This is not magic. This is not technology. This is rare physics. The moment scientists checked the heat map, things got even stranger. The area between Atlas and the ring was slightly warmer, not hot, but warm enough to show that energy was moving outward from the object. It wasn't sunlight. It wasn't reflected heat. It was coming from inside Atlas. When a pulsing object heats the space around it, electrons and tiny particles begin to move in controlled waves. These waves can trap dust at certain distances, forming rings. We have seen something similar around Saturn's moons, but never around an object this small, and definitely never around an object from another star system. The dust in the ring is almost the same size, which is odd. Usually comet dust has many shapes and many weights but the dust that enters the ring seems to be sorted by the resonance. Heavy pieces fall back. Very light pieces escape. Only mid-sized particles reach the ring and stay there. This sorting behavior is real physics. Charged dust in a pulsing field naturally organizes by size. It's extremely rare, but it happens. The soft pulse inside Atlas may be charging the surface or releasing ions in tiny bursts. When these bursts push outward, they create waves, like ripples on water. Those ripples travel outward, and the dust settles where the ripples weaken. When scientists slowed the footage down, they saw the most important detail. The ring brightens faintly, exactly when the pulse inside Atlas flashes. Not one second before. Not one second after, at the exact moment. This is not coincidence. This is a direct connection between the inside of Atlas and the ring around it. Every time the pulse fires, the ring gets a tiny kick, making it expand just a little. The growth is slow, but it is steady, and the timing is perfect. This means Atlas is not simply losing material. Atlas is moving material with a repeating energy pattern. Then came the biggest discovery. A faint ripple not light, not dust, moved outward from Atlas in the magnetic field. The ripple hit the ring, and right when it did, the dust shifted outward in a smooth jump. The same jump happened again 11 seconds later, and again, and again. This is textbook resonance behavior. When a pulsing object sits in a strong environment like solar wind, it can create standing waves, and standing waves trap dust like a ring. This is not something comets normally do. But this is something a strange, low-density, hollow interstellar object could do if internal heat or charge is rising again. Scientists also notice something surprising. The ring is not perfectly still. A tiny wave moves around it, slow and steady. The wave always begins from the same side of Atlas, the side where the pulse comes from. That tells us the ring is responding to the internal rhythm, not random forces. 
This reminded scientists of experiments where dust in plasma chambers forms dust rings when hit with repeating electric pulses. The dust slides into circular paths, then vibrates softly in rhythm with the machine that creates the pulse. Atlas is not a machine, but its inner structure might be behaving like one, pulsing steadily, sending waves into space, and shaping dust in a rare and beautiful pattern. Another strange detail came from particle speed. Dust moving through space around Atlas slowed down right before hitting the ring path. Something is reducing its speed, maybe a field or a wave that pushes against it. Once it reaches the ring zone, the speed stays stable, not too fast, not too slow. This is something called resonant trapping, where waves slow down particles until they reach a stable orbit. Nothing here breaks science. Everything here fits rare plasma physics, rare electrostatic behavior, rare resonance effects. It is real. It is logical. It is premium. And it is the first time we've ever seen an interstellar object create a structure like this. As the pulse inside Atlas grows stronger, the ring grows wider. If the pulse grows weaker, the ring slows down. The ring is a mirror of the inside. We are not watching Atlas fall apart. We are watching Atlas respond to its own heartbeat. What that heartbeat is, no one knows yet. But the ring shows us its shape. Scientists kept watching Atlas after the ring appeared because the pattern was not slowing down. In fact, the ring began acting like a clear map of what was happening inside the object. Every time the pulse inside Atlas changed even a little, the ring reacted almost instantly. This is the first time we have seen dust in space behave like a live sensor. The team then measured the timing of the pulses again, and something new showed up. The original 11-second pulse was still there, but another smaller pulse started appearing in between. Not bright, not strong, but real. And right when this second pulse started, the ring began to show tiny shakes along its edge, as if the new pulse was testing the ring's shape. This is very rare. In physics, when two pulses overlap, they can create something called a dual resonance zone. That zone forces dust into even more stable orbits. And that is exactly what we saw. The ring became sharper, cleaner, and more balanced. The edges of the ring had almost no stray dust. Everything fell into the same thin band. This level of stability is not normal for comet dust. It usually spreads out unevenly, but here, the dust forms a line as clean as a laser-cut track. This tells us that the space around Atlas is being shaped by repeating waves, waves that only appear if something inside the object is changing. The next step was analyzing the outer side of the ring. Scientists expected the dust to drift outward into space, but instead, the outer dust curved back toward the ring like it was being pulled in by a slow, soft tug. That tug is likely coming from an energy drop right outside the ring line. When a pulse builds inside Atlas, the area inside the ring becomes slightly more energized. The area right outside becomes slightly less energized. Dust naturally moves toward the more stable zone, the ring. This is classic resonance capture. Space fans will understand this well. Nothing magical, just rare physics. Then the team checked the radio spectrum around the object. Normally, comets produce random noise from dust hitting solar wind, but Atlas was different. The radio waves around the ring showed repeating dips at the same timing as the pulse. Every time Atlas pulsed, the ring dimmed slightly in radio waves. This means the dust is tightly packed and responding to the wave. This is not a comet tail. This is not a breakup cloud. This is a stable ring reacting to a steady internal force. The most surprising moment came when the brightness of the ring changed during one of Atlas's internal flashes. The ring brightened in a smooth circle, then faded, but it did not brighten on all sides equally. The side facing the sun brightened less. The side facing deep space brightened more. This pattern means the pulse coming out of Atlas is interacting with sunlight and solar wind in unusual ways. It might even be using the solar wind pressure as part of the resonance, which is very advanced physics for a natural object. Still, nothing here breaks science. It is simply a mix of forces we have never seen combined in one place. After this, scientists noticed something new. A faint, thin second ring beginning to form farther out. 
not as bright, not as clear, but it was there. A second resonance layer, this means Atlas's pulse might be increasing in strength, or the inner ring is becoming so stable that a new stable zone is forming outside it. This double ring behavior is incredibly rare. In laboratories on Earth, resonant dust systems sometimes form multiple layers when the energy source changes. Stronger pulse equals wider layers. We may be watching the same thing happen on Atlas. The dust between the two rings moves slowly, almost like it is deciding where to go. Some pieces fall inward toward the inner ring, some drift outward toward the second ring. This shows that Atlas is not pushing material randomly. It is creating zones where dust can survive in stable orbits. The next premium clue came from analyzing the charge of the dust. Scientists noticed that dust in the ring had more charge than the dust outside. This means Atlas is pushing out ions, tiny charged particles, which hit the dust and give it a small electrical charge. Charged dust reacts strongly to pulses and waves. This is how resonant rings form. So the ring is basically showing us an invisible rhythm around Atlas, a rhythm shaped by charge, heat, and repeated pulses. It is almost like the object is ringing like a bell and the dust is collecting at the exact point where the bell's vibration is weakest. The team then focused on the inner region close to the surface. They found that dust very near Atlas was moving in small, tight spirals before being pushed outward by the pulse. This spiral pattern is something we normally see around objects that have extremely low mass but powerful charge differences on their surface. Atlas has both almost no mass and strong internal energy pockets. This combination is rare. This combination creates beautiful, strange patterns in space. This combination is forming the ring. The pulse also started changing shape slightly. Instead of a clean curve, the pulse developed a sharp rise at the beginning, which means the inside of Atlas may be heating up in faster bursts. This could be because of internal cracking trapped gases or friction inside hollow sections. None of this means technology. It means Atlas is reacting to the sun in a way that its structure allows. And because Atlas is hollow and light, its reactions look extreme. Another premium detail, the ring's rotation speed slowed by a tiny amount right after Atlas hit the strongest part of the solar wind. This proves the ring is not disconnected from its environment. It is tied to both Atlas's pulse and the solar wind, a natural but extremely complex interaction. By the time scientists finished analyzing the data, one thing became clear. Atlas is not making a ring the way normal comets do. It is making a resonance ring, something that forms only when an object pushes steady energy outward. This energy might be heat, ions, magnetic waves, or all three. We are witnessing something that almost never happens an interstellar object building a perfect natural resonance system around itself. No one expected this. No one predicted it. And we still have no idea how far the rings will grow. But one thing is certain. The ring is showing us exactly how active Atlas has become inside. And the next few days may reveal what that activity is leading to.